you guys, this is Mike Chin. Welcome to my patio kitchen. And today we're gonna do ramen. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a ramen recipe, my favorite ramen recipe. Now, I think of ramen in two different ways. One is you take a pack of ramen like this and you use the seasoning, you make the ramen soup, you follow the instructions and you jazz it up a bit, which I love to do. But sometimes you really don't want the extra sodium or whatever is inside the mystery seasoning packs inside ramen and you just want the noodles itself. And I do think that is the slightly healthier option when it comes to ramen, so that's what we're gonna do today. And I love using this winter ramen, shin ramen, because I, I love the texture of this ramen. Today I'm gonna to show you one of my favorite ramen recipes. My mouth is already watering thinking about it. We are gonna cook some ramen, but we're not gonna cook the ramen in a soup. We are gonna stir fry our ramen. Check this out. We're gonna use two packs of ramen, shin ramen like I said. We have some beautiful green peppers, red peppers, some mushrooms, scallions. This is one of my favorite vegetables of all time. In Chinese we call it dou ya, it's bean sprouts. But if you notice, the, the sprout in is, is a lot bigger than the sprouts you might see at typical supermarkets. And that's because in Chinese we call it da do ya or big bean sprouts. And I love this so much for stir frying because not only is it crunchy, but the head of that sprout has such a beautiful, beautiful flavor. And for the protein of this dish, one of my favorite things in the world, Chinese sausage lap chang or in Chinese la chang. These are smoked sausages and they, they make everything better. They make your dishes better, they make your buns better, they make your day better, they make your life better. They do. And it's only like five bucks, so you know, would you like to have a better day for five bucks? I would. First thing we're gonna do is boil our ramen. Before you boil your water and put in your ramen, make sure you chop up all the other ingredients because everything is going to the wok. It's going really quick. It's gonna get done really quickly. You don't want your ramen noodles to be sitting around. Treat your ramen noodles like, like it's, it's a hot date. You don't want your hot date sitting around waiting for you. You gotta be ready. It's only gonna cook for about 45 seconds to a minute. All you wanna do is have the noodles be able to separate. Don't cook them all the way through. Otherwise, you're gonna have really soggy noodles. And while we're waiting for the noodles, um, I don't know if you guys you guys saw this. I like to walk out. New t-shirts, just had them designed, so check it out. The store is listed in the description box below. And there's a bunch of other really cute designs as well, so check it out. All right, the noodles separated, that's it. Take it out now. And I love these noodles because they're a little thick. They got nice chew to them, nice texture. These are the noodles I typically like when I'm eating hot pot. They go really well with hot pot. All right, this is gonna set aside for just a minute, okay? Now all the ingredients are gonna go in together. Heat on high, a little bit of cooking oil. First thing you're gonna put in is your garlic and scallions. Love the smell of garlic in the morning. If they invent an alarm clock that pushes out the scent of garlic in the morning, that'd be a great way to wake up. I mean, it'd be a hungry way to wake up and let that cook for just a minute, then just put in your sausages. I used four whole sausages. You don't need to use as much as I used. I think two would have been enough, but I love these sausages, so I'm gonna use a lot more. Now keep in mind, the more of these sausages you use, the less soy sauce you can use, because these are gonna be really salty. Now you'll never go to China and see people eating these sausages like a hot dog. That just won't happen. And these sausages, they're not tender. They're more chewy, they're more like a jerky, but perfect for stir fry, just perfect. I would call this the Chinese pepperoni. Cook this till your sausages are just a bit charred and they're going to absorb all that great garlic and scallion flavor. When you cook, the sausage is gonna release a beautifully sweet aroma. Oh, it's just so sweet. That's like Disney princess sweet. Next up, add about a half a cup of green pepper, half a cup of red pepper, or whatever other vegetables you like. I just happen to like peppers and I wanna add some mushrooms. Usually shiitake mushrooms will be better for this because it goes better with Asian dishes, but all mushrooms are fine. I mean fine, but they are also fun because they're, they're fun guys. And then add about a cup of bean sprouts. Mm, my favorite. Cook this together for about another minute just so that your sprouts is no longer snappy in the middle. You don't want that. Ramen goes in. Now we're gonna season it. Two teaspoons of dark soy sauce for some color. Two teaspoons of light soy sauce for some umami flavor. Teaspoon of Shaoxing rice wine to wake this thing up. About a teaspoon of oyster sauce. Half a teaspoon of sugar. A couple dashes of white pepper powder. And about a teaspoon of sesame oil. Cook that all together. Mmm, that's smelling good. Toss this all together for about a couple minutes. And in the process, your ramen's gonna cook some more. I like my noodles a little bit al dente. I like it a little bit chewy. So I don't wanna cook it too much. And I think right now, that looks pretty darn good. Now again, this is up to your preference. I like my noodles slightly charred. So I'm gonna cook it a little longer. I think it's good. We're ready to go. We're not done yet. Really quickly, I'm gonna fry an egg. We want this a little runny. So you want your pan super hot before you put your egg in. A little salt on top. I wanna keep the yolk intact. 
I want the outside to be a little charred, and the insides can be a little runny. You guys ever seen a sunset? Let me show you an egg set. This is the prom dress that will get your Rama nominated prom queen, I promise. Nice, fresh peppers. Noodles are chewy. Mmm, and with the sausage. Oh, mama mia, that's good. Creamy egg yolk. Love the sprouts. Let's show the sprouts some love. This is already really fantastic. Only one way to make this even better. If the egg is the prom dress, let's give this dish the tiara that it deserves. Hot oil goes on top. For me, when it comes to noodles, I've got to add hot oil. It, it just, it, they just belong together. I mean, you can't deprive them of that. It's like Peter and Wendy. It's like, it's like Lady and the Tramp, you know? A little bit of everything. <gasps> I don't know what else to say to you guys. You, you need to try this. I promise you, this will turn out to be one of your favorite ways to eat ramen. So there you go, guys. All the ingredients, everything we use to cook this dish, it's all listed in the description box below. So go home, try this out, and let me know how you like it. I, I think I've done enough talking. I need to, I, I need to get back to this. I, I'm really sorry. So until we cook again, I'll see you later. Oh, don't forget about the shirt.